Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to do MRP practice problem. First, we're going to look at the MRP inputs. As you know, there are three inputs, right? The first one is MPS, or Master Production Schedule. So we are going to use the information right here to fill out MPS form. Okay. The second one is the inventory record file. Just this one, this table. It shows item A through E, the amount on hand, on order, lead time, and sizing strategy. Okay. And the third one is the BOM or bill of material, or so-called product structure tree. This one. Okay. I'm sure all of you know how to read the tree by now, but just in case, I'll read it for you once. A here, okay, in this tree, A is the end product. To assemble one A, you need one B, two C, and one D, right? And to assemble one C, you need two D and 3E. Okay, that's how you read B. And to fill out MRP form, we'll start by filling out the MPS first, and then uh, MRP form for each item. And uh, we're going to fill out level 0 item first, which is A. Okay, why? Because MRP module is executed in a top down fashion. So from the top to the bottom, levels zero first, and then level one, two, and so on. Okay. All right, let's fill out the MPS form. The end product A, you need 30 at the beginning of week two, 30 at the beginning of week five, and 40 at the beginning of week eight. And in the inventory record file, you have 20 on hand at the beginning of the planning period. Okay, now you can scroll down to the MRP forms and fill out the MPS. Okay, here's the MPS form. Item A, beginning inventory is 20, and you need 30. In the beginning of week two, 30 in the beginning of week five, and 40 in the beginning of week eight. All right. And next, we're going to fill out MRP form for item A. Because item A is, is at the top level, level zero. Okay. So this form here, the first one, is for item A. All right. Uh, item A, lead time is one week. Uh, sizing strategy is lot for lot. Okay. So we're going to fill out gross requirements first. You need 30 in the beginning of week two. 30 at the beginning of week 5, and 40 at the beginning of week 8. Okay, I should have made this all blue. All right, now it's all blue. Um, projected on hand. Projected on hand is 20. Okay, so the beginning of the planning period, the projected on hand is 20. And remember, this is a plan, okay? It's not the actual um, usage. This is eight week plan. So the current week could be, you know, four, it could be four weeks before the planning period or eight weeks before the planning period, right? Okay, we have 20 on hand and zero on order. So we can just ignore schedule receipts here because we don't have any on order. All right. 20, week one. 20 on hand in week two. Okay. 
Now, in week two, we need 30, 30, right? And we have 20 on hand. So net requirement is 30 minus zero on order, minus 20 on hand, and you have 10 as a net requirements. So you need 10. You want 10 to arrive just in time in the beginning of week two. So you want, I'm sorry, 10 to arrive just in time in the beginning of week two. And lead time is one week. So we'll place an order at the beginning of week one. Okay. So here it's where we're gonna place the order. All right. Why? Because lead time is one week. And Order size is 10 because the lot sizing strategy here it's a lot for a lot. So you order the exact amount. Okay, good. Next, you can determine projected on hand in week three, four, five. So on hand in week three, four, five is what? Zero, right? Because we use um whatever we had at the beginning of the planning period already in week two zero on hand zero on hand in week five gross requirement is 30. you don't have on order you don't have on hand so net requirement is 30. okay we need 30. we want see here net requirement is, is tells you what you need and you, you want what you need to arrive just in time, right? So you want 30 to arrive just in time at the beginning of week five. So here is where you place an order, week four. Why? Because lead time is one week, okay? So you plan to receive 30, in week five. So you place an order at the beginning of week four. All right. Uh, next, week six on hand, zero, right? Zero, zero. In week eight, week eight, cross requirement, it's 40. 40 minus zero, minus zero, you have. 40 as a net requirement, right? So you need 40, you want 40 to arrive just in time. So you want 40 here to arrive just in time. This is your um, So this is your uh, planet order receipt. And you'll place an order right here in week seven, all right? Because lead time is one week. Okay, now we're done with item A. The planet order release for item A, it's week one, 10, week four, 30, and week seven, 40. So let's take a look at the question one. Week 1, 10, week 4, 30, and week 7, 40. So the answer is B. All right. I'll stop this video right here and we'll continue um, item B, C, D, and E in the next video.